I want to walk you guys through the logical process I go through sometimes when conceiving of a new video to make, this one in particular. I have three things that I had on my mind. The first one is that after about a week plus of intense benchmarking, because we had several new product launches, graphics cards over here, new processors, I am left with a very familiar situation here in my garage, which is that it is a crazy mess. I'm not even going to show you the whole thing, but believe me, it's a mess. I got test beds lying around and otherwise. The second factor is just the reality that I really have too much stuff. It's not really what I would call a problem, it's more of a dilemma. I am very grateful and honestly blessed that I get so much stuff arriving that I get to test out and make videos about, but it also adds up over time and at a certain point I'm like, what do I do with all of this stuff that I have? That leads me to the third leg of my logic for this video, which is that monitor behind me. If you missed the video on that, I gave a brief explanation at the beginning of that of a new persona, a new identity that I am inhabiting sometimes, a Mr. Hyde to my Dr. Jekyll, if you will, which is the I don't give a fuck version of Paul. That persona was inspired by Jay of Jay's Two Cents, so blame him. Uh, my goal is to spread cynicism and lack of caring for others wherever I go, but in that general spirit, I have conceived of today's video, which is basically gonna be just me selling a bunch of stuff to you guys. Excellent! So yes, you guys heard me right, rather than do a giveaway or donation or otherwise figure out a way how to dispose of some of this stuff, I am just gonna be selling it to you on eBay. So feel free to check the video description for all the links to all of the eBay sales that I am posting up today in the Paul's Hardware Summer Sale or whatever the heck I'm gonna to decide to call this. But here's my MO for today. I'm gonna to come out to the garage, I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna find stuff that I can part with. Uh, a lot of the stuff is gonna be from over here, older stuff. If you're looking for like Ryzen 3rd Gen or anything like that, that's not gonna be for sale today because I do still need that stuff. I will then take the chosen product out of my garage and over here into my dining room because one of the other dilemmas I didn't mention in the intro is that it's really hot today. And while I do have AC in the garage, uh, it tends to get a little strained, especially later in the afternoon when it gets up to 100 degrees freedom units here in California, which it is supposed to hit today. So over here will be my photography area. I'll be setting up all the auctions on my laptop right here. I have, oh, a tape gun. Yay, tape gun. I have a bunch of boxes back here that I've been saving up for the past week or so. I've got the tape so I can tape everything up and get it packed and ready to ship out and then I guess that's everything so guys, stick around if you want to see me highlight some of the products that will be going up for sale today. It is going to be international sales, but if you are international, you are responsible for paying shipping as well as any taxes and import fees and duties because I can't handle all that. Uh, so buy at your own risk if you are international. So do check how much the cost is going to be if you are buying from an international location. Beyond that, all profits and proceeds are going straight to me, which I have no qualms with because it's my stuff. I'm selling it deal with it. I suppose I, I will probably maybe spend some of the money on my daughter. That would that would be a, a good thing to do. Maybe my wife too even. That said though guys, I'm gonna get started so stick around and let's see what I have up for sale today. Our first item is the Asus MG279Q monitor. This is a 27 inch IPS 144 hertz 4 millisecond response time free sync monitor. It is WQHD or 2560 by 1440 resolution. LED backlight and free sync support so it is, yes, a gaming monitor. I do need to point out that there is a minor display glitch with this monitor. It is used. Occasionally there is a horizontal artifact line that appears, but it really is pretty random. So only a minor irritation that pops up every once in a while. It is by and large okay for gaming and other use, and I think anyone would be happy with it, especially with this starting price of $20. Our next item is an Enermax Aquafusion 240mm all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, model ELC AQF240 SQA, with addressable RGB lighting and setup for Intel or AMD CPU platforms. It includes a unique RGB water block with a glossy acrylic cover and a luminous or a belt RGB illumination feature. This is brand new, it's still sealed in the box. Our third item is the ROG Strix Fusion 500 Virtual 7.1 LED Gaming Headset. It has a hi-fi grade ESS DAC, ESS amplifier, digital microphone, and Aura Sync RGB lighting. This is also brand new and sealed in the box with a starting bid of $20. Next up is the Enermax Liquifusion RGB 240mm all-in-one liquid CPU cooler model ELC LF240 RGB. This RGB 240mm all-in-one has a patented flow indicator design and RGB control box included, made for Intel or AMD. AMD CPUs and has only been used for photo and video use so far. So very, very light usage, basically just been taken out of the box, starting bid of $15. Next, we have a Cooler Master CK530 10 keyless gaming mechanical keyboard with blue switches. Not cherry, but they do have a blue switch feel. 
This keyboard features RGB backlighting, on-the-fly controls, and an aluminum top plate. It's only been used for photo and video so far, starting price of $15. Next, we have another Cooler Master keyboard, this time the MK730, 10 keyless gaming mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX Red switches. Features RGB per key lighting and a removable wrist rest, again, only used so far for photo and video, so very light usage, only $20 starting bid. Next up here we have a combo, a Cooler Master MM830 mouse and an MP860 RGB mouse pad. So you get both of them with this auction. The gaming mouse has a 24,000 DPI sensor, hidden D-pad buttons, four zone RGB lighting and a precision wheel, whereas the mouse pad has a dual sided feature and RGB illumination. Again, only used for photo and video so far, $20 starting bid. I think a lot of you will be interested in our eighth auction. This is an MSI Armor GeForce RTX 2070 graphics card with 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory. This is MSI's entry level, but still very powerful version of the RTX 2070 with a dual fan cooler featuring a 256 bit 8 gig GDDR6 memory array, HDMI display port and USB outs, as well as ray tracing support thanks to its Turing architecture. This card has been lightly used for some comparison testing and it starts at $100. Next we have an Asus ROG Strix Radeon RX Vega 64 8 gig graphics card with 8 gigs of HBM2 memory. This is part of the ROG Strix lineup, so it features their unique RGB lighting design on the cooling shroud, features PCI Express 3.0 connectivity, it is HDCP ready. The model is Strix RX Vega 64 08G Gaming, in case you're wondering, and again, only light use on this for comparison testing. Our next item is a power supply, and this one has been used a bit more extensively. This is the Cooler Master V650. It's 80 plus gold rated for efficiency, and it is fully modular, featuring all black cables and Japanese capacitors. Again, this has been a standby power supply. I've used it in multiple builds, but it's never had a problem before. Still fully functional with light usage, starting price of $15. Next is the Asus Prime X299 Deluxe 2, which is an X299 chipset LGA 2066 motherboard for high-end desktop Intel Core X series CPUs. It has an ATX form factor, eight DDR4 DIMM slots, M.2 and U.2 support, as well as Thunderbolt 3, USB 3.1, dual gigabit LAN ports, and 802.11 AC Wi-Fi built-in. Again, only extremely light usage on this board for photo and video use. I basically did an unboxing with it. Starting price of $75. Here's another motherboard, the Asus Prime Z370-A, which is an LGA 1151 motherboard for mainstream Intel series processors. Z370-A features four DDR4 DIMM slots, DisplayPort HDMI and DVI outs, as well as M.2, USB 3.1, and of course that Z370 chipset. It's an ATX form factor motherboard. It has only been used once. It was put together in a single build, tested, fully functional, starting bid of $30. Next, we have some memory kits. We're starting with the Avexier Raiden 16 gig kit. That's four by four gig DIMMs. It's a DDR4 3000 kit, and this one does feature the Avexier Raiden unique plasma lighting feature across the top, which is a really cool effect, although I will warn you, it does make a light bit of electrical noise. It's a decently fast kit rated at DDR4 3000. The model number is listed in the description, and it has only been used in one build for a single video. Starting price of $20. Our next memory kit is from Giel. It's the Evo X RGB kit, 16 gigs or two by eight gig sticks, DDR4 3200 cast latency 16. This is an ideal kit for use with Ryzen, especially first or second generation. It's cast latency 16, so pretty decent timings. The model number again is linked in the description and this is basically brand new. It's never been used, although I did open up the box to take a look at it, starting bid of $20. Next, we have a Corsair Vengeance LED kit. This is a 32 gig kit, four, eight, gig sticks, not RGB LED, but it does have white LEDs across the top, rated speed for DDR4 2666, and the model number again is listed in the description. This has been used a few times in a few builds, but it's fully functional with a starting bid of $40. Our next memory kit is a Corsair Vengeance RGB kit, 16 gigs or two by eight gig dims, DDR4 3000 for the speed, cast latency 15, and yes, Vengeance RGB means it does have Vengeance RGB lighting. So if you want RGB, then this kit has it. It has been used in a few builds as well, but it's perfectly functional and a starting bid of $25. Next, we have another power supply that has been an old standby. This is the Rosewill Tachyon 1000 watt 80 plus platinum rated power supply. It's fully modular 
all the cables are included as well as the power plug. The model is Tachyon-1000, and while this model isn't sold anymore, it's been absolutely rock solid in my testing, so it will work out just fine for anyone. Just bear in mind, it does have ketchup and mustard cables, although I did wrap some black tape around part of it. It may be a bit dusty, but for a fully functional 1000 watt 80 plus platinum power supply, I think $20 is a fair starting bid. Here's another well-used product. This is the Blackmagic Intensity Pro 1080p capture card. It does 1080p at 30 frames per second, and it needs a PCI Express slot. Again, this is used and used extensively. It's probably seven or eight plus years old, but it's always worked great. The only issues I've really had with it have been due to the Blackmagic software. So for a $5 starting bid, if you've been looking for a 1080p capture card, this might do it for you. Next is a couple more Blackmagic products. These have been used, but more lately. This is actually a two item combo, the Decklink Mini Recorder 4K PCIe capture card and the Mini Monitor 4K PCIe capture card. I was originally trying to use these for loopback, but the Mini Monitor capture card is actually made to use along with software. So if you're using something like Adobe Premiere, you can use that for an output to a 4K monitor to watch the project that you're working on. You cannot use it for live pass through for the 4K capture card to watch gameplay or something like that. So please don't buy it with that purpose. But these cards do retail for about $200 each right now. And the 4K capture card always worked great for me for capturing a video feed from my GH4 or GH5 cameras. So you might want it for that too. Anyway, starting bid is 10 bucks. And our last item is what I'm gonna call a grab bag. This is a bunch of individual items, but I think it adds up to a pretty nice combo, starting with the Cooler Master Devastator 3, which is a gaming keyboard and mouse combo in and of itself. We also have a Toshiba XS700 240 gigabyte external SSD, an Enermax fan icer, which I think is supposed to keep your laptop cool or something like that. There's a Boltron wireless charging pad, four tubes of Corsair TM30 thermal paste, and then three mouse pads, because we all need three mouse pads, one from HyperX, one from Main Gear, and one from Corsair. All of this for the low, low starting auction price of $5. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video. Again, check the description for links to all the auctions and whatnot that are available today. And I'm probably not gonna do this again. This this seems kind of like a one-off thing to me, but let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this, if you think I'm just a horrible person for doing it, or if you think, you know, I should go for it and maybe make this a regular deal. I, I don't know. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do about it. But for now, I've gone ahead with it. So uh, thanks for sticking with it. I'll be back with more regular content coming at you very soon. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out and we'll see you guys in the next one.